here is my Umarex SA177. This is by Umarex, of course. I think this is made in Germany in a Umarex factory, which claims, per se. And I'll show you how to field strip this or take off the slide. Now, this pin right here, which is right here, is on the very left. I did another video of field stripping, like the on the PX4 Storm. So it's kind of similar. This is on the very left, while the PX4 Storm has two pins, but still on the very left. So here's one pin, here's the other pin, here's the other pin. I don't know if you can see that. But anyways, let me fix the camera. Might fall. Again. Here's this pin I took out. Now if you can see, right here. It has these studs for friction fit. It's a PX4 Storm. A little different style, but still the same purpose. I guess Umarex doesn't want their customers opening their guns like me. Probably getting too much complaints, but whatever. Cybergun and all that, they in integrate the field stripping mechanism. For this, it was simply in there. All the way in there. I used a full screw, as usual, with the hammer came out the other side, but it wasn't completely out, because my Phillips screws aren't as long as the pin here. You see. see there's a little nub, yeah, so I might need longer screws, or whatever you have, maybe a pin, to push out the pin, and set this aside. So once you have that off, Simply like the PS4 Storm or most actual products, like the Glock, actually goes back, or the Blink Guns. Pull it all the way back. Make sure on this one it has rails. Uh, keep the camera and the lighting. It has a plastic rails or polymer rails. It's pretty good plastic. It's not those cheap plastic. I got this pretty lubed up, which is pretty nice. I got it from Pyramid Air. Pretty good. But they're nerds. They're so obsessed with air guns. That's a it's kind, of, kind of thing I don't like. But that's just a personal complaint. Anyways, the rail right here. You need to have the slide clear it. Where there's a little center right here. Where it disconnects from the rail. Get the lighting correct, but there we go. See that little spot? So, once you have that, you simply pull all the way, push up, and then make sure it's in line still, and slide forward. Now, it has to go back into the rails and still be above the com component. So, let's try doing this. Hopefully I don't break it. Almost broke my steel storm just because of curiosity. So I'm just gonna. These are plastic rails, so careful. And this is a metal slide. I'm just experimenting right now. I haven't tried this yet. I only pulled out the pin. Actually, it's... hold on. There. There we go. So you have to make sure, make sure it's pretty close together and on the rails so it's aligned. Set this aside. So yeah, this gun is pretty good cleans when I got this. It had a nice layer of um, lubricant, which is good. I don't want too much lubricant. And I'll probably use my Teflon lube, which is way better. Clean the rails. Don't want to get gunked up by dirt. Cause I'm gonna use this mostly often, most often than my other guns. So this slide's pretty good. Here's the here's the rails. I don't know if you can see this. Get this to the other side. I fix the camera before it falls. There. Oops.
I don't know if you can see this, but there's a slide here. Stops. Then there's a slide here. Okay, so there's a slide here and here, and then one here. On this side, there's none. Just checked. It's pretty dark. Sorry. My camera adjusts to the brightness. Now I'm only doing this because I'm gonna replace it with a better lubricant. So if you if you're gonna just fuel strip this, unless you have a lubricant to use, then leave it on there. Here it is. Here's my trifle lubricant. This is pretty good. Ah, oily. Okay. Just make sure you use the right lubricant. If it's the wrong one, if it's gonna damage the the polymer plastic or the O-ring seals or even corrode the metal, then don't use it. Just put it on my Q-tip. Guys are six dollars, two ounce bottle. Just keep it in the slide. Actually, I don't know if you can see this, but there's no rails right here. So th the only rails are in the back. There's some edges right there. Let's clean it off. Clean off the oil. There's some scratches right there where this rail is. Oh, I can't see another. There you go. You can kind of see it. There you go. It's this rail right here. Let's put this on this little makeshift tripod with tape and other stuff. Let's clean it off. So the only rails are right here. Here's a slight catch area. Sorry if you can't see it. Use my Crossman Pelgan oil, and I'm gonna put some onto here, which is one of the mechanisms that uses the blowback. So let's put a few drops. You don't have to do this since it's already oiled, and you might gunk it up, but this is my personal preference. And I just keep it green out because I have a, another one. Don't want to get confused. Having to open and close it. This one's good for the rails. This one's good for the o rings. Some people actually use this for the rails too, but I uh, think it's better for the rings. Let's take a look here. We have our slide e ejection port, or, um, you could say, fake ejection port. We had the slide on, the little cutout should be there. There's no actually cutout which goes into the BB chamber. Which is okay. You don't need it since it's gonna be wasting a fuel seal too. Whoops, I just kinda bowled it up. Just gotta get off some oil and then put some new oil. Sorry, I'm out of camera again, but whatever. I don't know what this red dot is. Sorry. This red dot right here came when I got it. But, yeah, I don't know what it does. I'll put some oil in this little chamber. Oh, let's get a flashlight. It's not going to auto-adjust. But there we go. Some oil in there. So this is not the compression chamber, really. This is just for the blowback chamber. Well, I don't know my parts, but yeah, I don't think it's that important. So I'm just putting slide or slippery oil, which is this. 
This gun looks pretty much oiled up already. We got a new new Q tip. Put some oil in there. And just slide it off. I like my guns clean. Also my lasers. If you watch some laser videos, I used to be very into lasers. Oh and there's some rails right there. Guess we'll put some oil in there too. There we go. Now my friend who had this gun before me, he had a different one. I just bought this new one. This is new. He broke his a few months ago, and he disassembled it because he wanted to see what's inside too. I wasn't there, but he told me. He says how the BB gets loaded is the barrel moves forward, then the magazine will push one in there. So it's sort of like the here. Just get it. These. Airsoft magazines. I just have a cheap one lying around. Probably gonna toss it, doesn't work no more. They have that little chamber that the barrel moves back, or the slide moves back, carrying the barrel. And I have a little slot which pushes the BB in. Yeah. Oh my gosh, whatever. So yeah, do not take out the full internals, just want to mention that. I have not really experienced with this one, I don't, I don't have the schematics for this one either. Oh, I have the schematics for my Steel Storm and my P4 Storm, but not this. So, I'm not very sure of what's in here. Like I said, if I even did, this is pretty much as far as you want to go. Probably you want to go further, but you're gonna regret that. Might be some springs in here. This is this is pretty efficient pistol. Put about five or six magazines of I could say twenty one BBs. So that's pretty a lot. The PX4 Storm gets about sixty or seventy. BBs or pellets and my um my X5 X5 P226 from Cy Cybergun that gets about 100 so it's four 20 round magazines oh there you go just want to make sure there's no springs jumping out oh I still have some steel too in here but it's very low I'm uh, pretty precautious and safe, but this is, this is a good occasion to do it. So, the CO2 also puts some pressure on the, the trigger, and the trigger's at the very end. So, if you can see. Oh, and make sure you pull it all the way back before pulling it forward, because it'll load another BB. Right here. So when this goes all the way forward, it'll load a BB, if you can hear that click. It's not a rotary mag, it's just that it's pushing this little knob right here, which is where the BB would go. Just keep that in there. There's no BBs in there, so safety checks. And I have shot two BBs at the same time. Might ruin the barrel, but that was an accident. So It's a smooth barrel. That's how it works. So that's pretty much as far as it, it can explain the entire thing. Now I'm going to show you how to put it all back together. Don't lose your things. And I'm not responsible if you try opening the entire thing with all those internals. There we go. Pull it back to the flat, the back slides right there. Go forward. Put down a slide release, there we go. 